creatives welcome back to my channel today we're going to dive into photoshop and we're going to test out some new brushes i revealed in my photoshop video which is right here that they have a lot of new brushes and i uploaded quite a few However, I didn't fully get to explore them, so we're going to do that today. I also have a really exciting announcement. I have started a Patreon, so if you guys want to see more about uh, kind of like how I work studio clips, exclusive videos that you won't see here, how I digitally paint and make all of my work, how I find a personal style and how I go about creating everything that I create. You guys can go support me there if you choose to. Again, no pressure whatsoever to do so. And there is some perks over there as well if you guys want some goodies. So go ahead and check that out. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell if you haven't had that turned on so you guys can know whenever I upload a new video. I know quite a few of you have them already on. Also, if you are new here, hi, my name is Angela and I am a graphic designer and an illustrator. I create videos about everything to do with graphic design and illustration. I have a whole playlist of tutorials from every kind of program with Photoshop, Illustrator. I even have InDesign on there once or twice. <laughs> there's a whole bunch. So you guys can explore if there's anything that you want to know, anything you want to learn. You can always leave it in the comments down below. So let's get started. We are here in Photoshop. This is the 7th generation 10.2 inch iPad and I have the 1st uh, generation Apple Pencil. The brush library is over here under brush. If you tap it twice you get to see all the brushes. There's so many brushes. I have uploaded new brushes. Downloaded these pretty recently so these are all available to download for free. There's the Keith Haring brushes. So let's go into there. There's a lot of brushes in here. There's also um, watercolor brushes, spatter brushes. There's a mega pack for, I believe it was for summer, summer mega pack. There's even brushes for letterers. For all of you hand letterers out there who love to digitally create hand lettering, uh, that's there. And there's also art markers. So art markers, I found really fascinating. They have some interesting uh, shapes in here, but let's start with letterers. I'm quite fascinated to know more about these. So, let's see. These are all Kyle's brushes. If you guys don't know Kyle, Kyle Webster, he creates a lot of brushes. Like, he, he creates so many brushes. I don't know how he creates so many. Let's see. Let's go into... My goodness. How many is in here? How many did it say? Kyle? 170. 170 brushes, guys. That's a lot of brushes. He has irregular letters. He has he has borders. He has lots of borders. Let's just pick a brush and let's just start playing around, okay? Let's see what this one looks like. These are your stroke and your fill colors here and here. I'm going to pick a new color. It's now August, so let's do like a more of a folly type color. A fall-esque type color, if you will. Let's do that. So I'm gonna create a new layer, new layer. There we go. You can hide the layers panel by just tapping the layers icon over here on the right and it shows and hides it. See what this border looks like. Ooh, okay. Well, that's really cool. All right, two finger tap to undo. I was thinking that perhaps we can do some lettering. Let's create like a sticker. And the stroke, let's make it, let's make it like a soft pink color, why not? Let's choose a different brush. Let's choose the his lettering brush that he has up here. Um, it's just Kyle's Letterer's five points. So let's see what that looks like. That's the third brush that was in here. And you guys can definitely download these as well. Um, I forgot to mention, if you tap on the brush icon twice, there is this plus sign down here. You can tap on that. Uh, discover new brushes and it'll take you right to the page where you can download all of these new brushes. So let's see what this looks like. Let's just make a, whoa. All right, interesting. Let's explore more. Create a new layer. Let's tap this layer, hide it with the eye, tap on 
the new layer we just created. I'm going to hide the layers. And then let's do this. Dots? Oh wait, I saw another one here. Dotty 2. Oh, that's kind of cute. As in like coffee spills. Oh yeah, that looks cool. You guys see that? Look at that. Let's go back in here and let's do some fun swirls. You know how in um, specialized coffee shops they make um, cute like little pictures and such in the coffee and then there's like bubbles in it sometimes with like specialized lattes and such kind of want to create like that type of thing like these more like chill laid back type of videos I can also tap on the layer and duplicate the layer that way we can test out some different ideas here Let's kind of just play around and see what we can do as far as the outline goes for this sticker. So let's see. Oh, that looks so adorable. Okay, I really like that one. That looks so good. It looks so good to me. All right, let's try something else. Let's go to this new layer. Let's try a new brush. Oh, even that looks cool. man now comes like the deciding factor like which which one looks better that one or that one which which do you guys think let me know down below also if you guys have not known uh, Adobe came out with rotate canvas so the rotate canvas, it, it's a bit glitchy, I would say, but it does work. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's almost like cloud-like. I like kind of things like that where it's light and subtle and almost fairy-like, I would say. I really am impressed with these brushes. Honestly, Kyle Webster is like known for his Photoshop brushes that he creates. He creates a lot. Like he comes out with brushes like every season, I feel like.
Okay, what do you guys think so far? I really am enjoying this. I think this looks really quite cool. I don't know. I really like the other one. I wonder if this one was in the brown, if it would be a little bit better. Oh, what do you guys think about that? There's the lighter one, and there's the thicker one. I don't know, I kind of like the lighter one. You guys, you guys choose. This is a really solid start for a sticker, I think, and we did so many brushes in this. Let's try watercolor. Oh, that's nice. And if you go through here, it's literally like watercolor. That is so cool. Now that we've done that, let's choose like that color brown. And let's try, let's make a new layer. Drag and drop the layer down below this and let's. That's a little bit more than a handful of just Kyle's brushes. There's a lot more that we can explore in here. And like I said, there's a lot more brush libraries that you can really dive into. I'll show you the uh, brushes here. Once you sign in, you can download all the new Summer 2021 new release brushes. There's the Keith one, there's the Mega Pack, there's also watercolor, dry media. There's so much to choose from. There's even manga brushes as well. Definitely take advantage of all of that. And I think we ended up creating a really nice sticker here. Definitely let me know what you thought of the elements here. Definitely let me know what you think of the brushes, if you're gonna try any. And also let me know if you would want stickers because I'm always curious to know if you guys would like anything like this or not. I hope this was a really nice chill, not so much of a tutorial, just something for fun and definitely explore all the brushes for yourself. Also subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. Check out my Patreon which is brand new. I just launched it down in the description down below. There's a link there for you guys. Again, no pressure, only if you would like to and I will see you all in the next one. See you soon, creatives.